personally thank uh, speed institute because it is the only institute which is available for dm clinical pharmacology i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of speed to dr shiva krishna rao for scoring a very good rank of rank number 27 in neat ss 2024 held on 29th and 30th of march 2025 in dm pharmacology group of scoring for specialty of dm clinical pharmacology congratulations to you doctor thank you sir thank you very much excellent now it's great to have you in the session today thank can you. you tell us something about yourself where you started till date what all you have done i have completed my mbbs from uh, telangana rains adila watson okay. and i have done my uh, md pharmacology from dr s g m c nandet currently i am a senior resident at uh, km hospital mumbai sir uh, so during uh, i am uh, passionate about uh, research orientation so this has driven me in going towards the uh, research perspective of the subject sir very good doctor excellent so you have a keen interest towards research and when did you have a, got an idea to do a dm clinical pharmacology when, when you decided to do it why uh, you decided to do it so actually when i was in uh, when i joined the residency i was having an idea to join in a, uh, completely do my clinical pharmacology uh, because of some of my uh, known uh, seniors and my mentors they have guided me to go through the uh, a uh, good orientation of the subject so i was preparing from my first year of the residency i was uh, reading the standard textbooks like goodman gill and catchen and whenever time is possible i used to make my own notes and uh, uh, whenever i feel uh, any doubts or any references i used to talk to my seniors my lecturers and uh, uh, it would it was helping me a lot and i felt uh, making my own notes and preparing standard textbooks from the beginning helped me to clear through this journey excellent very good doctor now can you tell us something about your preparation strategy what all you did to achieve this rank yes sir. so during my first year uh, i used to uh, go through standard fta updates were there sir and uh, along with the fta updates i used to uh, uh, go through normal lectures so during residency it was completely our uh, Uh, normal i used to follow the protocol of our uh, college and i used to go through normal residency but during the by the completion of uh, my uh, completion of my work at uh, my college I, after coming to uh, my personal work i used to uh, read extra some 2 to 3 hours and i used to dedicate to prepare for the super specializations okay so how many hours you are preparing for how long you have been preparing for full time or whatever the dedicated time you said yes uh, i used to prepare uh, 9 to 12 sir daily uh, but, uh, because we used to have some time uh, we were not able to get complete time during our residency so minimum 2 hours to maximum 4 hours i used to dedicate sir uh, yes okay so did you were you able to watch all the videos in the speed learning app Uh, yes sir i would like to personally thank uh, speed institute because it is the only institute which is available for dm clinical pharmacology and i uh, i was uh, uh, completing all the modules i have completed all the test series i have completed all subject wise tests as well as uh, one good important point was sir whenever we feel uh, anything lacking there are some mentors and frequently asked questions and uh, the previous year seniors i would like to specially thank uh, balaji umurgan sir and uh, other faculty in uh, making the subject easier and simpler because uh, they made the subject uh, exam oriented and they have given a crisp, crisp and concise uh, orientation of the knowledge uh, of the subject and uh, i would like to also uh, highlight an important point like it was having some uh, mentor uh, previous videos uh, previous toppers videos like uh, npk teja sir who, who who was one of my mentors so i have met him in one conference so he guided me in uh, whenever i have time he used to uh, guide me like you can go through it you can go through this information so i think this is one good area uh, from the speed that you are providing and in a good environment for education material and everything sir 
and uh, it is really helpful for the upcoming students to keep in Thank track you. and where they are going. Thank you, Doctor. Very good, and congratulations to you. And thanks for very good words. The faculties and team of speed will be very happy listening to your feedback. And also, now, how many questions did you attend, Doctor, this exam? Yes, sir. I have attempted one forty-five questions, sir. Very good. Now, uh, it's what is your message for the future aspirants of DM Clinical Pharmacology? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, definitely, we can do it. Uh, but the proper orientation with the help of guidance of uh, faculty, our lecturers. Uh, uh, I suggest start from the day we join the residency, get a proper track of our uh, idea. And I suggest that uh, it is nothing like we cannot do. Only thing we should uh, follow the advice and all the material available. It is pretty much achievable. And don't uh, feel uh, you cannot do. You have to work again so that it is definitely uh, useful and the research is one area where we have a lot of opportunities. So that is one area in the upcoming uh, upcoming era. So try to dedicate yourself to research. That is going to help us to uh, work better and create better opportunities. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Time to thank. Whom all you want to thank, they helped you to stand till date in your career. You can use the start from to do so. Yes, sir. I, will, uh, I would personally like to thank my father, Venkat Rao, my mother, and I would like to thank our professor and HOD, Dr. Casey Chandalia, sir, who was very supportive and he was uh, guiding me throughout the journey. And I would also like to thank my mentor, Dr. M. P. K. Teja, sir. Uh, and I would also like to thank uh, Speed Coaching Institute, who were uh, starting from my uh, thought of getting the clinical pharmacology to this stage. They were all through tracking my progress and they were helping me to go in a continuous process. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Great to talk to you. Once again, wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in uh, clinical pharmacology. Best wishes to you, doctor. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.